Millions of bees used to collect pollen here. But two years ago, all the buzzing activity around beekeeper Kostel Greshala fell silent. Take a look. All the bees are dead. Or because of this chemical they sprayed on the fields. My entire business is destroyed. At some point I'll have to burn everything down. In spring 2015, wheat fields here were sprayed with the insecticide fiprosid to kill ticks. Its use near domestic animals was already banned at that time. People in the village of Puyeshtia, in one of eastern Romania's poorest regions, were not even informed, says Greshala. It was a disaster for us beekeepers. We were robbed of our livelihood. A beekeeper can't exist without bees. These gentlemen caused an ecological disaster here. They didn't think about the people, nor the animals, nor us. All they're interested in is money, and they can't get enough of it. Greshala lost 24 beehives, and with them, his livelihood. The same happened to other beekeepers. Along with farming, honey was one of the few sources of income for people in Puyeshtia. The beekeepers are suing this man, the pest exterminator Konstantin Greguts, for using banned chemicals. He sprayed the fiprosid, and now he presents it to us with a clear conscience. He no longer sells it, but he does still sell similar poisons. Look here. You can buy it for 15 lei and do what you want with it. But how is it applied? The directions are on the bottle. The trial against Treguts is already in its second year. The court wants expert advice from the agricultural authorities, but they haven't even looked into the case yet. And the beekeepers suspect that's because Treguts's wife works in the agency and is protecting her husband. The evidence shows that I'm innocent. Everything was signed and permitted. I was supposed to exterminate ticks. They live in the fields, not on airplanes or ships. So that's where I sprayed. I'm not to blame. The beekeepers see it differently. Now that contaminated eggs in Belgium and Holland have focused attention on fiprosid's dangers when used with domestic animals, they hope pressure will be put on the manufacturer in Bucharest. The company ignored interview requests, but this invoice shows that it delivered fiprosid to animal breeders, although the EU banned the chemical in 2013. Fiprosid can be deadly, especially if you consume several products contaminated with it. The effects emerge rapidly. The symptoms are nausea, sweating, vomiting, and even unconsciousness. For the beekeepers in Puyeshtia, the egg scandal in Western Europe changes nothing. Fipros had killed about 50 million bees here in 2015. Kostel Greshala is sad that no one seems to have learned anything from that. We exported honey from here all over Europe to Germany, France, Italy. There were contracts. But since the disaster, since the bees died, we no longer sell honey. Otherwise, this is a pristine region with huge forests. There was never any environmental pollution. Nature seems to be slowly recovering. Costel Greshala makes a discovery. Wild bees have moved into one of his hives. That encourages him to start keeping bees again. But it will be a long time before he can once again make a living from it.